I'd like to talk about an application, uh, and in particular, directional solidification processing, which is a way to process a material to create inhomogeneous compositions. Uh, this is oftentimes used for either you know, purification or you know, the removal of, of defects. I'm going to be talking about this simple phase diagram, which just has an alpha phase, a liquid phase, and an alpha plus liquid. And I'm using components A and B. There's lots of other things you can work with here, but uh, just A and B and then this simple phase diagram. So the idea of directional solidification is that you have some crucible which is elongated. And in the semiconductor industry, you actually would have, you know, like a boats, and you put this in the furnace, and you pull it out from one side. As you pull it out from one side, this side is going to be exposed to ambient conditions and will solidify. The remainder of the crucible stays in the furnace and stays liquid. In this uh, picture here, I drew a cold side and a hot side, and this represents our crucible. So it starts out as all liquid, and I selected composition XB star as our uh, uniform composition across the liquid. As we cool, we get a first solid that forms. And that first solid that forms, we can determine from the composition, from looking at the phase diagram and drawing our tie line and identifying where the tie line intercepts the phase boundary with alpha. So that first composition is going to have this, that first solid is going to have this composition And as we continue to cool, we're going to have different composition solids that range you know, all the way down to here. So this initial, this final. Uh, so we're able to change the composition uh, as we cool. Now, the non-equilibrium component of this tells us that, well, if you have the first solid, then the next solid is going to be slightly less, uh, slightly less uh, B-rich. The third is going to be even le less, and ultimately we're going to wind up with a system that on one side is, is very rich in B components, because that was the first to solidify here, and the other side is very poor in B components because that solidifies over here. And if we were to plot the XBS, the B composition of the solid, as a function of position along the bar, we would find, and I put this uh, dash dot line to represent the average composition, so that's XB star, our first solid is going to be much richer in B, and as we come forward, it's going to turn down. So basically, that's going to be the value of XB star, and the final uh, solidification product will be very poor in the B species. And what you can do then is you can imagine yourself solidifying the system, and then you know, perhaps cutting off your bar here, taking this part and reprocessing it, but keeping the left side in order to have a sample which is preferentially rich in B. And you could do the other way. If you want it preferentially rich in A, you could work over here as well. But nonetheless, this is, is a uh, means of using our knowledge of phase diagrams and the non-equilibrium effects to purify materials.